I can't disagree with you at all. To me, that would be like heaven, you know, to see that. I want to see sprint car wings on late models. We had it. I we want had to see it for a long time, man. 65 inches tall. <laughs> I want to see rear spoilers on these cars that stick out four feet behind the race car. <laughs> we had them. We, and that, those were, that I was. I want to see that again. Man, I, I would pay. Run what you brung. I would pay big time dollars to watch that. I remember guys putting humper tires all the way around their cars, <laughs> yes. taking them out there. Yes. Jeez, no stagger. Roy Vane says, big old Lexan wings. Roger Ellis chimes in, and he says, growing up, my favorite cars were the super stocks with wings on them. And that's what they yep. were. They weren't late models back no, then. No, they were they super were stocks. They were super stocks. And that's, yep. you know, that was the guy, that was the era that we grew up in. Yep. You know, I mean, we had, you know, Russ and his Corvette, and we had Jay Bugby and his, and his Chevelles and his Novas and Don Wilson, and, you know, he drove everything there was a drive. Didn't matter what brand was on the car. He was going to win in it, and he did. Um, you know, I mean, we had, I mean, I can remember – I can remember uh, Craig Phillips in a Camaro, Jack Keck, you know. I mean, all those guys in, in those early cars with the wings, and that was what some part of our conversation earlier was, you know, you, you get a guy. We were talking about this today with Jeremy Shank, in mm-hmm. fact. You get a guy. Say you're bringing a friend to the track for the first time. They've never been to a dirt track race. All they've seen is NASCAR on TV, Okay. So now they're kind of like, well, I don't know. It doesn't look like much fun. Judging a lot okay. of my friends growing up. Well, <laughs> me too. So you bring them to the track. You bring them to the track for the first time. And now I'm talking about our era. Okay, mm-hmm. let's go back to our era. You bring them to the track the first time, and the A main rolls out for the super stocks. And you've got Novas, and you've got Dodge Chargers, and you've got uh, Ford Falcons, and, and Grand Demons Torinos. And, and yeah, yeah, you've got everything there is that, you know, under the sun. And they've got that big wing on top, right? And they've got the big rear spoiler. You know, um, the Camaros. You know, the 65 Chevelles, you know, the 55, 56, 57 Chevys, yep. you know, all that cool stuff as a kid growing up. Now the cars roll on the track, and if you're at a track for the first time, people look at the street stocks and go, man, those are cool. Yep. I had one of those cars in high school. The late models roll on or the modifieds roll what on. Is that? And their first thought is, what the hell is that thing? <laughs> you know, I mean, truly, yeah. you know, and, and it's hard for them to get excited like we do about racing because we understand racing. We know, okay, yeah, those cars are different. But they're big, nasty, and fast, and they're loud, and they're cool. But they're not cool like we had growing up. See, that's, to me, the biggest difference where we're at in the race world today is, is everything is so organized and so, you know, it's the same. The sport's gone more to the money side than ingenuity. Where way you know growing up when we were a kid, I mean remember think about it, think about this, seeing a Pinto in the A main in the same row with Don Schonthal's green machine. It didn't look like a it didn't look like a car at all. What the what the hell is that thing? Yeah, right. I remember that. Car. Those two cars, a Pinto and the green machine, who was truly probably the first outlaw car on the West Coast, true yeah. outlaw car. Yeah, side by side, people looking at those going. What's going on here? What 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 is that? You know, and then along came um the first wedge car I remember seeing was, Who was Mar- the K Camaro. The K car was Bob Saley out Bob of Rosebud. Bob Saley, that's right. Yes. Um Don Hood and the Monza with the wing. Yes, I remember yes. that. The A1 car. Absolutely. Um Mike Coy. First wedge car I ever saw. It was 95. It's a 95 car was the first wedge car, and I looked at that, and I said, that has got to be, and I was just a kid. That has got to be the ugliest car I've ever seen in my life. What I wouldn't give to watch those cars race now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, come on. Mm-hmm. Memory lane, man. Mm-hmm. It's a great place to be sometimes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? I remember when those wedge noses, because they were all bent aluminum typically on those wedge yeah. noses, right? They weren't plastic back well, then. Well, and they started getting that way in the early 90s. Yeah. But and so I remember seeing that, and then before they started putting the bumper hoops on the front, when they mm-hmm. get up underneath somebody, yeah. I just remember those cars getting destroyed. Oh, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. I mean, I remember at Eugene, there was probably five or six that showed up one night. And I, I was kind of like, this is kind of cool. These cars are loud and fast. They're really uh-huh. fast, you yeah. know? And I'm thinking... Dad's telling me all about aerodynamics. You know, he goes, yeah, he got some downforce, <laughs> and he's telling me all this stuff, and I'm going, ah, that's great, you know. When 
all the cars have to pull off to rip their noses off yeah, yeah. to come back out yeah. on the track and all you see is the engine. <laughs> that was different, you know. But seeing that and, and where it's gone today, <laughs> look at your chassis out there. Chassis are similar. They mm -hmm. all have a little bit different mm -hmm. things done to them, but you look at that compared to the home ingenuity that guys had. Yeah, I saw guys using old swing <laughs> sets for roll bars. Yes, literally swing sets from the yes. backyard as a roll. I mean, uh, you remember? You remember that farm pipe? Oh. I I remember exhaust one pipe. Oh yeah, yeah. I've Stupid. seen all that. You know, Stupid. It's lightweight, great. Yeah, whatever. But I when you when you're eight years old and you see a guy lose an arm and it's laying in the mm -hmm. middle of a racetrack mm -hmm. after rolling his car, you're right. going, "What just happened? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh!" Yeah. You know, and then they. The tech crew goes out there, and, and, and you're going, oh, my gosh, you know. But the ingenuity that was behind it, yeah, okay, you were in charge of yourself. I just remember when the seatbelt law came, and I didn't want to wear my seatbelt. Yeah. I was like, why? Yeah. I'm in charge of my life, you right. know. Yeah. The other side to that, though, is where we're at now. Mm -hmm. You know, like you just mentioned, the cars are so much safer. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've, we've watched wrecks in the last couple of years that – Hands down, would have killed drivers back then. Oh yeah, you know, as, as fast as the cars are now, you know, the twenty three hundred pounds, which they're lighter than they were back then. They got way more power, technology, all that good stuff. It's all great, but the safety is, is you know, <laughs> you look at what, what those guys were doing in the sixties, seventies, and eighties versus now. Like you said, there there's some guys that, that are, are miracles that they're, <laughs> that they're alive mm -hmm. today. You know, um, man, uh, right here, Brendan Decott, Jay Bugby with a big block Chevy that everyone said he would never get it to hook up. And look what he did. <laughs> look what he did. How many races did Jay win with a big block? Uh -huh. You know, how many championships did Jay win with a big block? He was notorious for that. Yep. You know, and when Jay Bugby was at your track, I don't care what it was, dirt, asphalt, whatever track it was, you knew Jay Bugby was there simply by the sound when the car, you could close your eyes and you knew when Jay Bugby passed you because he had that sound. You know, like Darren Koffel has that sound. There's three guys, four guys. I'm going to tell you, there's four guys in my entire life. I could close my eyes. They could be out there racing. I could tell you exactly when they pass in front of me. Jay Bugby, Darren Koffel, Bob Boyd, and Bob Jeffrey with that V6. You just knew that particular sound of that car. They had, you know... Darren Koffel has probably historically over the years had the most monstrous, evil-sounding engine I think I've ever heard in my life. Just that thing that just pounds the. I mean, it's truly like going to a drag race and they burn off and just you feel that power in the ground. That for me, that was Darren Koffel. I always knew where Darren was, or you know, <laughs> you could hear Darren. And you felt him when he came by. You know, he just had those motors that were evil. You know, Jay Bugby the same way. There were times when Bob Boyd ran his big block, you know, that, that you knew. And then there was that V6 of Bob Jeffrey that sounded, you know, much like a fuel-injected vacuum. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's just that, you know, um, but I have to agree with Brett. You know, there's those. Uh, Jay Bugby was, well, he's a legend. He's, he's unique, gone. Dunn Wilson, gone. Uh, you know, the guys we grew up, Don Ireland, gone. Mm -hmm. um, so many of our heroes, you know, today's heroes, and I was thinking about this the other day, you look at today's heroes to, you know, what would be our kids. Yeah. Who who are they? Bryson James, Joey Tanner, um, y the young guys mm -hmm. that, you know, we look, and you, you have to, I don't care who you are, whether you like those guys or not, you have to respect that talent in the cockpit. Who are the other young guys? Help me think of some young guys that are just. Turn Elliott. I mean, you start looking at. He's Brandon, starting to come Brandon off. Brandon Wilson. Brandon right. Wilson, another guy that I think uh, is going to win multiple championships when his career is done. That he's. I've told this guy. I told Brandon. You need to be in a late model. Your driving style fits a late model type race car. You know, you look at Southern Oregon. You know those young guys. Tanner Holmes for the sprint car yeah, kids. Yeah. You know, I mean, there's so much young talent coming up that we look at, you know, you and I look at them as, as, as kids. I mean, 100% talent. I can't say that Joey Tanner and Bryson James are, I mean, Bryson just turned, what, 21? But I, I, or something, I, I can't call him a kid. 
I've, I've been calling him in, into victory lane since he was 12 years old. Yeah. You know, I, to me, he's not a kid. He's a, he's a young man. Joey, Joey the same way. But those guys, what I'm saying is those guys are today's heroes. Yeah. You know. So all these five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten year olds are looking up to these guys. Like we did to the boys that we've been talking about. Yeah. You know, um, I, I'm going to put this out there. I, I've only put it out. I, I've talked to Brett about this. Brett, I'm actually working with on a project, um, and he's been incredible. You want to talk about a guy that has got some history for a project that I'm working on. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, I've got two projects that are kind of r- working parallel that we're going to start um, really hitting hard here. Hopefully have those released this season, but we're working on two projects that are involving two of the guys I talked about tonight and, and Don Wilson and, and Jay Bugby. And <clears throat> about a month ago, uh, Ron Wilson was here at the house. He says, Hey, you know, we've been working with him trying to get something done on this project. I've been, you know, w- this has been not just recent. This has been probably a couple years in the making trying to get this done. And it's taken a lot on Brett's part for Bugby. And it's taken a lot of work on on Ron's part, working with you know this project for his dad, Don Wilson. And I've got what I need to get this project done. It's just gonna it's so much work. But when we release when we release this to the public, I'm telling you right now, people are gonna go absolutely nuts. I'm not gonna say what it is, but I'm telling you right now, if you're a a Bugby fan or or a Don Wilson fan, and there's multiple drivers and teams that I'm working with on projects for 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 what I'm doing. That if you're a fan of some of the old guys we've talked about tonight or you grew up in our era, you guys are gonna love this. You're absolutely gonna love this, and I'm telling you right now, you're gonna you're you're gonna want to get a piece of history. Let me say that. It's gonna be it's gonna be good stuff. Yeah, Mike Patterson. So what about Cody Laney and Robbie Sawyer out of California? Oh, yeah. There's two of your heroes down there that for these young guys. Jeffrey Hudson, absolutely. The, the, I mean, we've got a picture of him on our fridge that Nina <laughs> took, you know, in Victory Lane. <laughs> yep. And the modified. Marissa <laughs> Hanson, Goodwin, Ethan yeah. Dotson. Yep. You know, these are, the, these are the new heroes. But this project that I'm working on, and you know what I'm talking about. You, you've been privileged to this, but people are going to – they're going to flip. <laughs> They're going to flip over this, and I, I'm just trying to kind of prepare myself for the storm that I know is coming. <laughs> you guys will love it. That's all I'm going to say about it. Um, you know, uh, going back here on some of the comments, i got to go back to Roy Bain. He says, see, Corey, you were worried about nothing going on. He says, <clears throat> fun listen anyway. We came on the air tonight just to do something in our right. normal lives. To get some kind of normalcy back, yeah. Uh, none of this discussion <laughs> has been written. There has been no guideline or anything. It was kind of a spur of the moment, anyways. You know. Well, we're out here working on the quad. Yeah. Hey, you want to do a show tonight? <laughs> Why not? Sure. It's been a while. <laughs> you know. I mean, none of this has. We did, we had no idea. You know, and I was worried. I mean, Gary, you know, I was worried. I was like, what are we going to talk about? There's nothing going on. I know. I was like, what is our content going to be? Yeah, both of us were. You know, we were <laughs> kind of worried about that, but. You know, we just wanted to get together with the people that that make our lives, you know, fun. what it is, fun and, um, you know. Um, Enjoyable. Yeah. It's just you and I at the table tonight, but we've had some great conversation, you know. And if you guys listening and, and you want to hit something in the comments, you want us to talk about something, throw it up here. I'm game. We've got plenty of time. It's Friday night. We've got nothing to do. He it's like to do. Yeah. It's like the movie. <laughs> it's Friday. You ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> well, let's do something. Let's you hang out. You ain't got out. a job. <laughs> yeah, let's hang out. <laughs> Greg says, I'll drink to that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Throw some stuff up here. You want to talk about stuff? Put it in the comments. We'll talk about it. You know, let, let's, let's, it's Friday night. Let's hang out. That's what I want to do. Uh, the projects that we're working on. This is the stuff that keeps me excited about racing, too. For me, you know how I, what, for me, if you know me, when it comes to racing, history is a big part of that. I talk about it a lot because that's where that's where we came up. That was our era. That's what you know. That's what made it great for us. It, it's all great for us now. It truly is. But there's those moments when you're a kid, you know, 
Um, so for me to get to work with some of the people I'm working with on these projects, dude, I, I'm so excited about it. I'm creative. You know this. I, I like being creative. I like, you know, whether it's writing or, or working on something or, or these projects or